so we are back just checking out my new setup for Microsoft Flight 2020 as you can see I got the Reverb G2 V2 and right here we got the Felicity 1 yoke alright so I'm gonna be doing a little test flight in VR using the yoke and I'm gonna let you guys know how it stock up. Looking good, looking great. Um, actually, I actually tested out before, so I might as well go ahead and share with you um, what my thoughts are on the Velocity 1 and also the Reverb G2. Now for the G2, I was expecting a, a, a lot more in terms of clarity and stuff like that compared to my um, reverb my actually um, Rift S it's it's better honestly it is but um, it's it's not like night and day but it's it's a lot better I'll put it that way um, a lot of details most review have never said is how uh, tricky it is to get this up and running. It's not like the um, the Rift S where you could actually just go in and um, you know sort of pretty much plug and play. With this one, you have to use additional software like um, OpenXR, and I find it it's a little bit tricky working with it. And Steam VR at the same time was causing some stuttering while I was trying to get into VR for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah, so it's been a, it's a, a lot that you gotta do to get the quality of the VR headset to look its best. It's a lot of tweaking you have to do. So if you're not someone who's really, I mean, techier into, you know, tweaking your devices and stuff like that, you might wanna think twice. But in terms of build quality, um, comfort, give it five out of five. Um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful asset. Um, I haven't really got into it yet, just like the first week. Um, just getting a feel for it. Next up, let's talk about this yoke. Now, as you can see, I got some, some Fanatec pedals that I use for my rudder control, but this also have on this, this um, triggers LT and RT, you can use that. For me, the the yoke, the tension on it, it's 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 not bad. It's not bad at all. It could have been a little bit stiffer, especially you know to make it feel more realistic. But it's not bad at all. And this right here, the trim wheel is really great. I like the feel of it. These are a little bit light on the in terms of the feel. So it's feel a little bit cheap right here. I wish they had somewhere to tighten the tension on it. Also for the throttle control levers, it's very, very light. Um, so that's the only drop um, for me. But when it comes on to the build, um, the mountain is easy, guys. Like, I mean, it takes like five seconds. It's really easy to mount. It comes with a lot of um, templates you can use for different stuff. You can change the, the color of the, the lights for the LED um, navigation. You can use it on Xbox or the PC. Uh, it's really great in terms of for the price to what you get, so I would recommend it. Yeah, so this is my f first review officially on the Reverb and the Velocity 1. I'm gonna be doing a lot more as I get into it, so stay tuned and see you in the next one. Remember, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss when we send out notification on our new video. See you in the next one, peace.